Hey YouTube, it's Gladius. This video is a guide on how to get a pretty necessary tool for a blacksmith's rag and touch hammer. This one up here. It's a pretty great tool for blacksmiths. Extra skill provided when inspired is going to really help with you crafting awesome gear. Before we get into it, if you want to stay up to date with uh, WoW content, I try to get this stuff out really fast. Broke, strike that like button and slam the subscribe for more WoW content in the future. And at the end of the video, if you decide it's helpful, please put a like on there as well. All right, let's get into it. Our journey begins in the Obsidian Citadel. You're gonna be keeping an eye out for a rare called Rosor Forge Master. It is a rare spawn, so it may not be up. So I suggest you just start with farming the keys to get ready for the next step. So while you're farming keys, keep an eye out for the Rosor Forge Master to pop. I got my drop on the first try, luckily, but uh, it might take you a couple. Next thing we're gonna need is the plans for the Obsidian Seared Alloy. Once you have enough key shards and a key frame, you can go ahead and right click on the items inside of your bags and then it's gonna make a key. Don't turn this key into Rathian. You wanna hang on to the key and take it over to Forge Master Basentius or Basentis. For this one, after you have your key finished, you're gonna head over to Forge Master Bezentis and you're gonna turn in your key. Immediately after turning in the key behind him, Weaponsmith Mita is gonna have a quest for you that's gonna pop up. It's gonna send you a stone's throw away into a cave to kill a giant elemental, and then you're gonna be able to head right back and turn in the quest. And then boom, there's a couple other things we need to get our hands on. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. First, you're gonna need the Zap Throttle Soul Inhaler. This is an, an engineering crafted item. So I highly suggest using the crafting order system to make one of these. You'll save so much gold by doing that method instead of buying it off the auction house. I have a crafting order guide linked in the description if you wanna check that out. Next, after you have that item, you're also gonna need empty soul cages. You can pick these up off of the auction house for not too expensive. Mine were like 300 gold each. That's not too bad. So I went ahead and just grabbed one. Once you have both these items in hand, you're gonna to wanna to head on over to, you're gonna head over to a place called Vakthros. Uh, it's gonna be in the Azur Span. We wanna find an elite earth elemental that we can use our inhaler on. So if you know where another one is, you can go over to that one. This is what I knew offhand. So head on over to Vakthros and you're gonna try to find the, the patrolling elite rock elemental. Now this is the tricky part. The inhaler has to actually get the final tick of damage, like the last hit on this. Uh. So the channel has to be going at the time that the elemental dies and it doesn't do a whole lot of damage on its own. So here's what I did. I put my deep wounds and rend on it got it really, really low with auto attacks, um, and then I stepped back and started channeling. To make it even more tricky, enemy has multiple ways of interrupting your cast. And then when it interrupts your cast, you're, it's gonna go on cooldown for 30 seconds. So you gotta be really careful. Finally, if, once you do this correctly, uh, you'll hear that awesome ding sound, and you'll look in your, your you'll look in your inventory and you have a soul cage that is filled with an elemental. Now this is very, very, very important. Don't open the cage. Don't open it for 15 minutes. You let the cage sit for 15 minutes and it becomes docile. And then at that point, you can go ahead and open it and you'll get your earth soul. All right, we're almost there. Now, finally, this is a little bit of a grind. Now you have a couple choices. If you have a lot of money, a lot of gold, you can go ahead and buy these awakened elementals the awakened elementals required to make each one of the alloys off of the auction house. I went ahead and farmed them out. Well, most of them, I bought a couple, but uh, you're gonna need seven ordered awakened elementals. You're gonna need seven fiery awakened elementals. So that makes for a total of 70 rousing of each. On the auction house, the rousing tend to be a little bit less expensive on my auction house at least, so you can check yours. Do the math on it, it's 10 per. So if it's cheaper just to buy the individual pieces and then just right click on them to make the awakened, go ahead and save yourself some money that way. All right, let's do our checklist, make sure we have everything. So you might notice this actually takes a special anvil to be able to craft these items, but we're gonna head on way back to Forge Master Bicentis where this quest all began. And right next to him is the forge that we need. Let's head on back there. We wanna talk really quick about the optional reagent. Uh, this is kind of an expensive item that you're making. So you probably don't wanna have just random stats pop up on your, your item. For those who don't know, if you don't provide it a missive, it will randomly select a crafting attribute and then assign it to your, your weapon. So I knew I wanted to get a, a missive of inspiration. You can get one for resourcefulness or whatever you want to do, but I highly recommend grabbing that missive off of the auction house or using the crafting order system to go ahead and get one before you make your, your hammer. 
All right, now let's do our checklist. We, we got all the things we need to make our alloys. We got all the things we need to actually make the hammer after we make our alloys. And then the moment is finally here. You can go ahead and make all seven of your alloys. And then finally, congratulations, your hammer is on the way. And once again, if this was helpful to you, please heroic strike that like button and slam the subscribe for more WoW content in the future. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.